Hello friends, welcome to Custom Rooms Nation. We are back again with another cool tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we can clone a sketchware activity. So the importance of cloning or importing of activities cannot be overemphasized in sketchware, especially when you're developing apps which require the same functionality or the same activity. So we need cloning so that we can have a duplicate of the activity or importing we can import an activity from another app project so as we all know this is not a default in sketchware in short it does not exist in the official or mods sketchware apk so with this i decided to come up with an app that can help us make our development life much much easier yeah so i decided to call it sk Tools. So with SK Utils, we're able to import activities, clone activities, edit activities, change project ID number, yeah, make backups and restore. And this can also do bulk backup and, and restores. Yeah. So to get started, we first need to get the SK Utils up and make sure you already have Sketchware installed and the projects that you want to work with. So to grab SK Utils, just open your Play Store. In your play store here just go and search then we search for sk utils sk utils without space like that then search sk utils okay so sk utils should be the first one on the list if you've searched accordingly sk utils if it's your first time using sk utils you are going to have to install it then once it's installed you can always open it open it the first part is the splash screen of course then there it will show your projects these projects are the projects that you're having in your sketchway yeah so you can manage these projects however you want i should mention this app has got ads because this is how i earn some revenue from my work and like just giving it for free of course i spend a lot of time working on this so it's just right that i get something off it so now these are your projects you can always manipulate them from here by just clicking on any of these projects and you can see options there you've got import clone activity rename delete activity to keep to edit files backup yeah and changing position of the project so before we do anything let's just open our sketchware so you can minimize the sku tools or close it yeah so let's open sketchware then here I'm going to show you how we can import an activity from another project. So let's quickly create a blank project. Let's call it blank. So so here we go. We've created the sample blank project. All it has is the main activity. So now we're going to import an activity. You've seen we only have one activity. We're going to import an activity and it's going to appear in here with everything else that's in that activity. So let's quickly open another project with activities and let's get a sample activity from it. Let me choose one project. Uh, let's see the news crunch. Yeah, so I'll open this one. This is another project. So we are going to import the view news activity into our blank project here. So to do this, we first need to run this blank project so that we have the files needed to be accessed ready for SKU to use. So we just run it for formality sake so that it builds the required files. Once it's done running, don't install. You can install if you want, but it's not necessary. Just cancel it, then we can close it. Then now we go to SKU to use, open it, then select our project, in which we want to import the activity earlier so to import activity just click on import activity this will get the activity that we want from the other project which if you still remember was the news so we want the view news activity so click on it and it's done right there the activity has been imported so let's go back to sketchway open our blank project and we should be able to see the activity that was, that we just imported in this project there we go so with everything that it comes with the logic and all the other views will be imported 
so sk utils is actually made to make your life very easy to work with the repetitive tasks so instead of me having to add all this logic i can just import it and modify it a bit or use it as it is yeah so that's about the import functionality of sk utils so let's save this Let's go back to SK Utils and explore other options that we have. Let's click on our blank project then let's clone an activity. Okay, so we want to clone an activity. Let's clone let's clone view news. To clone is to make a duplicate. So we can't clone with the same name. We are going to give it another name. Let's call it CRN. So what will happen is once we click done, it will create the same activity but with another name with the exact logic done activity uh, there our activity has been cloned so let's go back to sketchware and see if we have a clone activity open the blank project go there then we can see our activity that we just cloned here and we called it sierra n let's open it you'll see that it's the same as the view news activity exactly the same yeah so we've discussed uh or we have looked at the cloning and importing of activities then you can also explore the other options that we have which i'll not do in this tutorial because those are actually very easy to do even this though this was important to me that i show you how to do it yeah so i hope this makes your development life very easy by making the whole development process faster yeah so i've used this cloning and importing logic over and over in many projects where i need the same logic to occur instead of me having to redo the whole thing from the start yeah so grab skutils from the description or play store by searching skutils remember to rate as well probably a five star would do for our hard work and if you prefer not to have ads you can always hit me up i can compile for you an ad free version at a very minimal cost just for you to support my work